number or worker or people who are dying at workplace. Estamos aquí este día porque queremos recordar. Estamos en memoria de nuestro compañero, de nuestra gente trabajadora que está muriendo en los lugares de trabajo. We are here today to remember to our official elected to social authorities that immigrant workers are working hard and are dying to build a big great nation. Buenas tardes amigos. Good afternoon friends. El mensaje es muy sencillo. It's a very simple message. Unless every worker can work safely. Aun, uh, hasta que todos los obreros pueden trabajar en un ambiente seguro, then no worker can work safely. Hasta ese punto, ningún trabajador puede trabajar con seguridad. We have to be certain that everyone who goes out to do a day's work who is a human being is protected. That the conditions under which every person in the great United States of America, in the great county of Suffolk, can be assured that there is someone looking out for her or for him. Oremos, God of justice and peace, Dios de paz y justicia, we gather in memory of Facundo Gonzalez, Pray for him and his family. Oremos por él y su familia. And for all immigrants who are working in our nation. Y por todos los inmigrantes que trabajan para nuestra nación. Oftentimes in dangerous and unsafe conditions. Algunas veces en condiciones peligrosas y inseguras. We pray that Facunda's death and sacrifice shall not have been in vain. OSHA's been gutted yeah. by a range of administrations and it needs to be more fully funded. We need more inspectors. We need stronger regulations um, and real penalties. To be honest, OSHA has very weak penalties compared to the EPA and other agencies. Um, if it comes to it, employers who don't follow the law need to pay a price. We'd like these incidents to not just be statistics, so we wanted to focus on an individual, Facundo Gonzalez, and his story a little bit, um, but also bring people's attention to the fact that this is happening here in Southampton. It happens, you know, pretty much everywhere, unfortunately. This incident with Facundo Gonzalez reminds us that when people go to work, whether they're immigrants or they're not, whether they're documented or not, they can get killed, they can get seriously injured, not because they did something wrong. This is not the fault of Facundo Gonzalez. This is the fault of the employer who failed to follow regulations. And this is the fault of a political machine in our country that has gutted OSHA and other agencies that are empowered protect people from needless death and injury. Todos unidos! Todos unidos! Todos unidos! Todos unidos! The reason why we came out was first to honor the memory of uh, Facundo Gonzalez. I mean, uh, you know, a man was killed here. Um, and to, to get out the message that worker health and safety needs to be protected um, and that unfortunately too many workers are dying on the jobs. Um, in, in accidents that could be prevented. If there, were, uh, if there were inspections that were actually checking out workplaces to make sure that workers' uh, health is protected, um, if the employers were looking out for their workers, um, if any of that was happening, then some of these deaths could be prevented. You know, it was the workplace project um, primarily about migrant workers and immigrant labor? We focus on immigrant workers. Um, yeah, in, in Nassau and Suffolk counties. Um, but the truth is that 
it's true that immigrant workers are probably more likely to die on the job than other workers, but it's not exclusive to immigrant workers. There are people who are U.S. citizens um, who are killed on the job because of dangerous health and safety conditions. Set the law! jobs in this economic climate that we're in right now. How can they legitimize 20 million people when 5 million people lost their jobs already? 500,000, over 500,000 a month. And they're legitimizing these people? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. We're a country of laws. It's gotten out of hand. It's gotten out of hand. I'm watching the builders that used to call me and hire me with my 30 legal American taxpaying citizens. I'm watching them picking up the illegal aliens and hiring them. They're sending this money out of the country. How is that helping out our economy? Especially in the economic climate we're in right now. It's bogus. Their claims are bogus. We're the most givingest country in the world. We give to everybody, we take the poorest, we bring them into our country, we're good people. When they try to tell us that we're racist because we don't allow 20 million of them to stay here, that's just, you know, that's ridiculous. That's, rid that's a slap in the face. That's a slap in the face. How do they get away with this? I don't understand. Why does everybody keep turning a blind eye to what's happening here? Hi. Everybody. Woo! Let's try to obey some laws here. Let's try to obey some laws. Are you protesting border jumping? We're just here because it's fun to dress up as a cow in a Where are these costumes from? Captain Primates. Does this normally help sell meat? <laughs>